Dale Ludwig, Clear Lake. Dale graduated from Rockwell City High School in 1982, the University of Northern Iowa in 1987. He earned a graduate degree in school counseling from Morningside and later a graduate degree in school administration from Iowa State. Well, I was a junior high AD at Clear Lake for a couple years, um, and then the guy that was the high school AD, uh, he and I worked in the same office. He was the assistant principal AD and I was a counselor, and so, <clears throat> um, I don't know, we worked well together, and uh, he became our principal, and when he did that, um, he came to me and we talked about it, and he, he said, well, you know, we're going to have to save a little money, but we'd like to make you uh, 712 AD. Are you good with that? And I'm like, you know, yeah. Um, and at that time, I had been coaching boys basketball for a couple of years. I coached volleyball most of my career, um, but I had kind of switched over to basketball. And he said, "You're just you're probably going to have to quit coaching basketball. So you got to decide if that's what you want to do." And I'm like, mm, "Yeah." What which did I see myself doing longer? Um, and you know, just talked to a few other people that had, had been ads, and I uh, just made the decision again that you know I think this is something we want to try. And um, you know, 19 years of it. And it's been a great, it's been incredible. Um, I tell people this is the hardest job that I've ever had, but it's the one I've loved the most. Um, you just get so much out of it from being around the kids and the people. And, um, you know, I, there's you just have so many stories, good and bad. Um, so that's kind of how I got started. Um, it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was real purposeful, but all of a sudden there it was, and then you had an opportunity. And said, so when you get an opportunity, presents itself, you kind of look at it, you know, and, and that's what I did and, and made the decision and I wouldn't have to look back at, at all, you know. It, it's been a great ride, um, met a lot of tremendous people and we've, you know, you meet the other people and you deal with those folks, you know, but those people are few and far between over here. It's the great people that I got to work with here on the board and the ADs and just the people in Clear Lake and just in our conference and around the state. It's been awesome, yeah. Dale has been in education for 34 years. He first taught at Rockwell Swaledale for two years, Schleswig four years, HLV Victor two years, and the last 26 years in Clare Lake. Dale taught high school PE, middle school English, has been a school counselor and assistant principal during this time. Dale coached varsity volleyball for 16 years, varsity boys basketball for three years, and also coached various lower level sports at each of the schools mentioned. The last 19 years at Clear Lake, Dale has been the 712 Activities Director. You just have to set some boundaries. Um, you have to have, you have to be really organized about what you're doing. Um, because if you're not organized, it just becomes a, a, just a dumpster fire, to be really honest. What I learned the first few years of being an AD was, people don't do it the way I don't coach and do their coaching the way I did. And what I had to come to grips with was that's okay. Um, because just because they don't do it like I did doesn't mean it's good or bad or right or wrong, it's just different. And so I think that helped me, and that's what I would tell the younger people, you know, have your stuff, but be open enough to, to let people, you know, if, if I wanted to coach football or basketball or wrestling or whatever, then I'd been the coach there. I don't, I, you know, as the AD, I didn't really want to do that, but I needed to provide a platform for those guys and gals to, to run their programs. The best thing about being an AD is you can call any of these people, text them, whatever, and if you have something that you're not sure about or you just want to shoot the breeze, they'll pick up the phone and you can call them and talk to them and say, hey, here's what I got going on. Tell me, what have you dealt with this? If you have, what happened? If you haven't, what would you say to me? And that's what I tell the younger people. Don't be afraid to call the guys and gals in your conference or somebody that you know that's doing the job because they'll help you. They'll help you. Dale's involvement as activities director includes IHS ADA member, he has served as the North Central Conference President for two years, the Northeast Iowa Chairs, State AD Chair serving as the IHS ADA President from 2021 to 2022. Dale was named Northeast Iowa High School AD of the Year in 2018-2019. Dale was also named Softball AD of the Year by the Softball Coaches Association in 2021-22. Every day going to school and just you know, doing lunch duty, just hanging out with the kids and which kid's gonna, you know, trying to pull your chain or whatever, or just sit down and talk to the kids about fantasy football or, you know, hey, we, who are we playing tonight? Who do you think, what do you think's gonna happen? That kind of thing, you know, and, and just trying to find out things that those kids are, were in, interested in. So just 
it, it seems really simple, but that's um, that's one of the highlights is just and then getting them getting to watch them do incredible things, um, whether it's on the athletic field or being an activities director. You know, you've got the music and you've got the clubs and all of that stuff, and just getting to watch those kids. You know, there's some kids that. I, could, I didn't know they could sing that way, and they were just awesome. You're just like, wow, you're just blown away. That, that kid, you know, just, they kind of just hang out. They, don't, they just do their own thing, but you go to a concert, and they do a solo, and you're like, wow, that's really cool. You know? And so you see them the next day, and you're like, hey, I, that was really neat last night. You know? And the same thing with the games. And you know, in the classroom, you wander in the classroom once in a while, and just you know, see them doing really incredible things in those three venues is, is another thing that I would say. Just, that's what kept me going. Dale retired in June of 2022 and has been finding out what the rest of the world had been doing for the last 19 years. Dale lives with his wife, Andy, in Clear Lake. They've been married for 23 years. Their daughter figure, Taylor, is 29 years old, lives in Des Moines, and works at Principal. You start with your family. Um, my wife, Andy, um, you know, she's been there. Uh, she's had to... Um, and she's been awesome. One, I think, because she understands. She was a coach. She is a coach. Um, so she understands all of that stuff. You know, brought up in a very um, activity-minded family she was. And so she understood that. Um, and there's some long nights. And, you know, that kind of gets to be a lot. You know, and obviously, um, you know, Taylor is her daughter. I call her my daughter figure. You know, and people have heard me say this. I, I don't have any biological responsibility for Taylor. but. Um, you know, Taylor was three or four when we met, and so um, she's been awesome. Um, she had to deal with her stepdad being uh, being a coach, um, volleyball coach, being an AD, being there every day, and for some kids, you know, that's hard, but she handled it really well. So you obviously have to thank her, because you know, there's times I miss some of her stuff, because there was other things going on as an AD, and that's, you know, th those are things you can't get back, and you think about them sometimes, like, ah, it's kind of was too bad, but, she understood, so obviously, and we're small, it's Andy, Taylor, and I, and that's it, you know, and the house, <clears throat> you know, Taylor's grown up now, and, and uh, so those two for sure, have to thank them, and just, you know, the coaches, the directors, and the people that uh, allowed me to um, kind of lead our programs as the AD, um, it's a lot of tremendous people, um, you know, you always try to put your, put good people around you, and I, I feel like we did that as best we could. There's a lot of really good people in Clear Lake that, that are working with our kids. Our community, you know, uh, in school, they've been, they're super supportive. And I know everybody says that, but, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, you can just feel it. You know, there's a pride in Clear Lake that I had, no offense to the other three schools I was at, but, you know, maybe I wasn't there long enough to feel it, but there's just a pride that I felt, and that's what kind of kept me in Clear Lake. Plus, it's a nice place to be in the summer, <laughs> you know. Um, and so, the community, the school, just anybody, the other ADs that I worked with, there's guys in our conference, guys in our area, people that I met through this um, journey on the executive board the last 10 years, whatever it's been, um, being a district director and then on the board, it, it just, you know, the, the four guys, the other guys going in the Hall of Fame. Um, I knew Todd Gordon from Sleswig Manning days, you know. Um, the other three guys I met, just through the AD Association and being on the board. And, you know, I'm really humbled because those four guys are super guys and they've accomplished so many things. Um, and not only in their personal professional, but in their schools. And so, it, you know, it's like, it's really kind of um, humbling to be able to be inducted with those other four people, you know. So, yeah, you just, there's a ton of people to thank. But my wife and, Aunt, or my wife and Taylor, um, they held down the fort for a long time. Hall of Famer, Dale Ludwig.